I just found a brand new AI tool that might be the biggest AI breakthrough that I've seen since ChatGPT because it lets anybody build viral apps. I'm talking about real software with login systems, backends, payments, databases, and even AI integrations by simply chatting with it. And no, this isn't another tool that's only gonna allow you to build prototypes because everything that you build with this tool is production ready from day one. In fact, this tool has already exploded to more than 2 million users and over $25 million in ARR in just four and a half months. This makes it one of the fastest growing AI platforms in the world and you wanna make sure that you're early on this one. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what it is, how to use it, and I'm gonna show you me building a viral app in front of your face in just a few minutes to inspire you to build the app of your dreams. Now that brand new AI tool that I'm talking about is going to be emergent because you're gonna be able to come over here and just put in a simple prompt for example, the one that I've put here about building a production ready GLP-1 tracking app with a fully native backend in, this will go off and actually build your app for you. And this is incredibly easy to use. I do want to walk you through a few things here. First and foremost, we could see right here that you could have this as a private repository or public if you wanted to, and you could connect your GitHub here. In addition to that, you can attach files or images. So if you have certain branding styles or the guidelines that you wanted to follow, you would be able to upload it here. In addition to that, there are several different modes that you're going to be able to enable here. Personally, I'm going to use E1 for the sake of this video, but we could see this E1, E1.1, this E2, this prototype, this mobile. So depending on what you're trying to build, you might want to change this out. In addition to that, you can turn on ultra thinking right here with 16,000 thinking tokens. If you're trying to get this to solve a really hard problem, you could come over here and you could change between all of these different coding models right here if you wanted to. Personally, I'm going to use Claude 4.5 Opus because I think that it's the best. And then when we come over here, you could see advanced control. So you could add in different MCP tools. For example, if you wanted to turn on memory for your agent that's going to be inside of your AI app, you will be able to do that here. If you wanted to attach a Superbase MCP, you could do that here. Notion MCP, you could do that here. Or if you wanted to add in a custom MCP server, you could do that incredibly easily here. And we can also see down here how easy it is to actually look at things. So we have recent tasks over here, which are things that I have worked on before in the past, and we have deployed apps right here. But what we're going to do is click on this right here. And now this is going to go through and this is going to set up the environment and this is going to begin actually building this out. So we can see right now that the agent is going through and it's actually responding to our prompt here. So it sounds like you're looking to build this. I'm going to start building this now. And then it goes through and begins processing all of these next steps. And as we can see, this is something that I really like. It makes that noise when it replies to you. You could have it send you notifications. So it's asking me a few questions here. Before I build your GLP-1 tracking app, I would like to clarify a few details for authentication. Is this going to be good? I'm going to say, that sounds great. For dashboard visualization style, simple charts, I'm going to say simple is fine. For theme preference, I'm going to go with light theme. For progress, photo storage, basic upload with data stamps, I'm going to say that's great. And then any specific GLP-1 medications, I am just going to copy and paste all of these in here because those are all the ones that should be used. And then I'm going to reply here. And as we can see right here, we could actually fork this if we wanted to at any time. So once this is actually done, we would be able to save this on a GitHub if we wanted to, or we could fork this if we wanted to. So as we can see, this is now going through after I answered these questions right here, and this is actually beginning to build all of this out. Now, while this is doing this, I do want to emphasize a few things. One, Emergent comes with native backends. You could connect Superbase if you wanted to, but it's not required. It'll handle authentication, it'll handle database, file storage, API routes, deployment, scaling, all of those things. In addition to that, they have a universal LLM key. So you don't have to worry about getting a Gemini key and getting a Claude key and getting an open AI key. It just takes one. In fact, it doesn't really even take one. Like if you're familiar with using a tool like Lovable, you have to go through and pull in all those different AI keys. But with Emergent, you don't have to do that. In addition to that, this goes through and actually uses multiple different agents. And we can actually see that right here, that right now the design agent is running. And then there's going to be several other sub agents that end up running, like this agent that's now going through and coding. And what this does is one, speed things up. And two, makes it a lot easier for this to build out a front end, a back end, a QA, and all of those things and have them run all at once the same way as a traditional developer team. But instead, AI is doing all of the work here. 
On top of that, one other thing that I did want to show you is if we come over here, we can actually build out specific workplaces or we can invite other people to actually join one of our projects so that we can collaborate with other people and work as a team on this. Now we can see right here that this has a total plan, it has a total design, and we could go through everything. So this is the back end and how it's gonna work, this is the front end, this is the styling right here, and now this will be done in just a few minutes. Now before I show you the finished app and how easy it is for you to go through and edit it, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pin comment below to try Emergent for yourself for free, because this is by far one of the most advanced vibe coding tools that I've personally ever used, and it can help you build the app of your dreams in just a few minutes. So now that this is actually done, we could come through and we could preview this app. Now, the first thing that I want to show off here is actually the build process of this. So we could see that this tested the back end. It took screenshots of the front end. So this actually went through and tested the app and we could see that the testing agent reports 100% back end success and 95% front end success with all the core functionality working. So this actually went through and tested our app, which is incredibly helpful because if you've ever vibe coded anything before, you know how how annoying it could actually be to get something to vibe code and it looks beautiful but then just nothing works and then you're sitting here like yelling at this thing for the rest of the day so we could see over here that this went through this actually created our mvp let's actually test this out we're going to come over here we're going to open this up inside of a new window here and i've already gone through and created an account so i'm just going to come over here and we're going to sign in right here and we could see that this actually works and it says welcome back which is amazing because that means that the database works here. So the first thing that we have here is a dashboard. We could come over here and click on medications. We're going to come over here and we are going to log this. So I'm just going to make up some random stuff here. I'm going to say feels great on Christmas Eve. We'll click on save entry. We could see that this is now saved over here. We could come over here and also log our weight. I'm going to put 210 pounds. I'm going to set this for the 17th right here. I'm going to save this. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the same thing for the 18th. We're going to do 207. Basically what I'm doing right here is trying to see if this graph pops up and we can see just like that it popped up. We also have side effects here. We could go through and log those. We could log all of our progress photos if we wanted to, and let's actually test and make sure that this works. We could click on this right here and boom, yep, it pulls this up. Now this isn't a progress photo, but we could see that these photos are actually able to pull up here. So it looks like everything here actually works, which is incredible. And now this dashboard is also updating. Now, I like the way that all of this looks. There's just one thing I wanna change. There's a lot of green being used here and I wanna change this to baby blue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna say, I love it, but can we please change the colors to baby blue instead of the green color. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to go through and this is actually going to fix this for us without us having to do anything else. And anybody that's coded anything before in the past knows how big of a pain it is to get things, to make changes, to anything that's been vibe coded because a lot of times it ends up breaking everything. But you're going to see how efficient this is at going through and updating the CSS here. We could see just like that, this went through and this updated this incredibly quickly. Now, from here, there are several different things that we could do. Like I was showing you before, if you wanna save this to GitHub, you'll be able to do this once the agent stops running here. If you wanted to fork this, you would be able to do that once the agent stops running here. And that makes it incredibly easy for you to be able to roll back changes. Let's say that you roll out a new feature or roll out something new, guess what? You didn't like it, you just come over here and you can fork it right here and we could see that you can fork this session with a summary. So you could continue your work in a new conversation while keeping the important context from this session here. So all the context is going to be preserved, all the memory will be refreshed, and this is going to allow you to spend less because refresh memory means lower token costs. And we could see we could go through and do that if we wanted to. Now, in addition to that, once this app is fully ready to go, what we could do is we can come over here and we could do multiple different things. One, we could actually look at the code right here if we wanted to, and we'll be able to see this. And as we could see, this very quickly allows us to just come over here and see exactly what this looks like. So we could see what all the code looks like here. We could see the back end here. It went through and this actually made us a bunch of different files here. And this is incredibly powerful because again, this allows us to see everything that is going on inside of our code base if we wanted to actually see it. And we could see that we have this build with agent right here. It's very helpful that this has this sync like this with VS Code. Now, 
In addition to that, if we come over here, we could see that we could preview it again from right here. We could see all of the info from right here around what credits were spent, what model was used, what the job ID is. We could upload assets in here. Again, we could see the VS code. And the other thing that we could do from here is we could actually come over here and click on deploy. So if we are ready to go live, we could hit on deployment in order to actually launch our app by just clicking on this right here. And we can also run a health check if we wanted to. So you can see just how easy it is right now in order to go through and create the app of your dreams with this. It could be a mobile app. It could be a web app. Make all the changes that you want to it and deploy it all from one location. And this is way easier than any other vibe code tool that I've ever used in order to be able to do all of these complex tasks. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I would strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through how to use AI avatars in order to promote your new AI app. If that sounds interesting, I'll see you over there.